Flower Garden. Uh, I'm gonna show you how you can use it. It is very simple and um, I'm sure you will love it as much as I do and uh, I use it all the time. It is very easy to use. You just drag and drop uh, the asset from the asset library. It is all based on curves, so you can draw it anytime. Um, there are two types of grass. The, this one that you see now that is the bigger chunk, and the other, the small one for for rows or anything else you might need it. Um, it works both in UV and cycles. All the flowers um, can be replaced and the leaves with custom ones. As you can see on the settings panel, it says replace flower and uh, replace leaf. Uh, you can adjust the flower count, the leaves count, the rotation, the stem size. But the initial numbers are quite good, so you, you don't mind me to change that. For the rocks, uh, you just tap, uh, you just click once, you don't have to draw it. Um, same for the grass and I think for the trees for the flowers you can draw and here with the white daisies because you draw it on the surface you, I have to remove the grass uh, first so as you can see after I remove the grass um, it can draw on the surface pretty well. You can switch off the initial uh, stem, the big one that you generate from, because that way you can use it with other, other any kind of mess you might need. Oh, I love this red. Book and Riddle as uh, they are amazing. It is easier than uh, to scatter stuff with uh, weight paint because with the weight paint the base mess needs to have a lot of geometry that is usually most of the times is unnecessary. Um, but with this method you don't need any underlying geometry on the mess, you just take the curve and draw or click and create stuff. It's very easy, it's much easier fast there. The viewport is not lagging at all. Okay, except if you could show many stuff and leaves and flowers. You also don't need to change the amount of the leaves often um, because when you adjust the count of the flowers also the leaves multiply. <coughs> so if you if you increase the number of the leaves and increase the flower count uh, it will get too many them, they will get too many. So most of the times you need to adjust uh, just the flower count. Uh, one thing I, I couldn't fix is that every time you import an asset, for example, every time when you import a different flower, um, it imports the leaf mess again, but it's the same leaf for all of them. So you can replace it from the settings panel uh, with the same one, the leaf without a number, and uh, you can delete the rest of them. 
but they're all of them are uh, as lower ball as lowest ball as possible but to look good too if you want to change the scale of the flower I did it I, I went to object in object mode I scaled down the whole flower and after when you go in edit mode again it it updates it will be smaller or bigger for the trees uh, if you draw a lot of them you can change the seed and uh, they will update you can also put in the collection of the trees your own ones your own trees and uh, they will be you, you can use them with this system yeah it's very adjustable um, I've made it so I can use it anytime with any other messes I might want to use in the future, not just these ones. I also plan to update it with animation features for the flowers and the leaves, and um, I also plan to import more assets in the future. Maybe more different kind of flowers and uh, some other stuff that are very useful for the garden some fences or some wooden houses yes, some stuff like that you can also add the geometry node on any other mesh and uh, the flowers will grow on the mesh in the shape of the mesh but be careful uh, if the mesh uh, has too many points uh, it will be quite heavy it doesn't need to have many vertices I added the text in Photoshop at last because I didn't like how it looked over here I hope you like it and uh, if you have any questions please feel free to